It was tough, man. It, it's tough to uh, right to be able to to stay sane for me, you know, as a Cowboys fan, uh, talking with the uh, you know somebody that loves the 49ers. Uh, for, <laughs> wh- for whatever reason, last year just rekindled that that whole nostal- that whole nostalgia of uh, being rivals, right? At one right. point, and, and and I mean, man, we go back and we look at the at at those nineties. What we had was we had good great coaches right yeah yeah. Uh, i think uh you know cowboys had jimmy johnson uh still in the fold in in the first couple meetings you guys had george seifert right yeah so if you look at when you look at it that 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 like i was saying it it came back but let me ask you about your 49ers man do you think you know they don't really talk about this in mainstream media this is more where we kind of you know we talk about this ourselves right like do you do you have you bought in that maybe cal shanahan cannot win the big one because there is there was that chatter that 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 people said like oof this doesn't look good man i mean look look he lost one in atlanta when they had the lead what was it 30 something to yeah it's a crazy score right yeah so do you feel that that the faithful have the right coach to lead them to a Super Bowl? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and just a quick side note on that rivalry. I mean, the Niners and Cowboys, they hadn't played in the playoffs since I think 94, 95 season. So it had been, what, 20 plus years since the Niners and Cowboys have played. And, and there's no doubt there was extra juice on that game that's for there sure was, especially yeah. with michael parsons i'll never forget this when he said uh where i'm from we bully the bullies i yeah. was like okay okay yeah. we'll, see. Yeah. we'll see what all that's about but yeah there's no doubt niners and cowboys rivalry rivalry renewed uh, that was a hell of a game but yeah there's no doubt um there are the naysayers um you know with the atlanta falcons he wasn't the head coach so i mean how much blame can you give him yes he was calling the offensive plays but you could call the best play but the players at the end of the day they have to execute that play um you know in, in versus the chiefs in the super bowl hey if our defense could have played better if jimmy could have made that throw to emmanuel sanders uh, you, know, you know it's like one play if jaquiski tart would have caught that interception against the rams this yeah. past season, so it's like you know but there's no doubt kyle shanahan he's one of the best play designers in the nfl I think he gets the most out of the talent that we have at our disposal. Um, and, you know, the York ownerships of the 49ers, they rewarded uh, Shanahan and Lynch, I believe it was two seasons ago with contract extension. So Shanahan's not going anywhere. Uh, and I think we have the right quarterback under center who can, you know, win the big game. And, and that's what it's come down to. You know, I know a lot of people talk about Jimmy G and he, he's not, obviously he's not an elite quarterback. He's not trash either though. I think he's, at his best, he's above average, but uh, I think Jimmy G has taken this team as far as he can go, um, and that's why we ended up trading for uh, trading up to get Trey Lance. But yeah, I, I can't speak for all the faithful, but I am still confident in Kyle Shanahan. I think he can get the job done because um, we've had when Jimmy G was healthy, hey, we had success in the playoffs, and then when he wasn't, you know, the, the season was basically lost. So. Um, you know, I believe in Kyle Shanahan and I think he's got what it takes to take us to that next level and, and win the big game.